Yari! Ura! Bri! 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 I sometimes wish I was standing up. I understand why PewDiePie stands up to make his videos. You feel way more like empowered, you know? You feel like you can really talk into the camera more. Whereas sitting down, like, you're a bit hunched, you're like, your legs are just fucking floating. What am I on about? What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Griffin GFX. Here I like to make graphic design tutorials. You might have seen my how to make a logo like Ninja, or how to make a logo like Ali A, or how to make a logo like FaZe. There's been a lot, right? There's been a lot of how to make a logo likes. They all do quite well. You guys seem to like them. PewDiePie is obviously the biggest YouTuber there is. So, one thing led to another and we're here today and I'm going to be teaching you how to make PewDiePie's background, you know, that crazy effect, um, as well as his bro fist logo. Uh, I actually never clicked that it was a P with a fist inside, like I obviously always recognised the bro fist, um, but I never actually realised it was a P, so when that clicked I was like, oh, okay. So what we're going to be doing is teaching you how to do like, put your own symbol inside, these are ones that I've created so far. I did the phase one and because he's done the bro fist it kind of makes sense to do like hand related things so like the phase up or my personal one which is just going like that there's something i used to do as a kid instead of sticking my middle finger up i'd be like it was a very disrespectful thing if i ever do that to you just know you made a mistake anyway let's get straight into it guys um I'm going to be walking over kind of the basics of how to do it, how I do it, how you go about doing it, some idea generation and execution using the pen tool in Photoshop. Feel free to use Illustrator. If you like using Illustrator, definitely do that. Uh, it's almost better for logo related things. I just know more people have Photoshop, which is why I do my tutorials on Photoshop. Yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into how to make a logo like PewDiePie. Tell me I didn't master that. I feel like I mastered that. You hate me because I don't let you play no mind games. Give me my grace. And damage my brain. Take me, break me, easily replace me. Hopefully right. So here's the things that I've made. Um, we've got the phase one. So it's broken down into a few components. It's got the icon itself, which is the, um, the hand. You don't have to do a hand if you want to do like an animal or like a eyeball or I don't know why I said that you can literally do anything I'm just trying to think of some examples off the top uh, it just has to be really simple right you can see how simple the bro fist is the reason that works is because that is such an iconic thing uh, that doesn't look as good because like no one really knows what that is the phase one works quite well because if you know what phase is you see the logo on the outside and then you see the f kind of slotting in on the inside so i thought that was quite cool i'm going to include a speed art at the end of me making what you're seeing now just in case that's of any use but let's go for some idea generation and make something new show you guys how to do it first thing i'm going to do is open up a new canvas i'm doing 6000 by 6000 pixels you can really do anything i recommend going above or at least doing 2000 by 2000 anything lower than that and the quality is probably going to be compromised I have to get into a bit of a weird position here I'd normally have my drawing tablet here but as you can see there's a microphone in the way first things first turn your brush hardness to 100% if it's not on 100% then your brushes are going to look like this no one wants to see that if you have it at 100% you're going to be getting sexy lines like this. Look at that. You don't need to have a drawing tablet for this. I like to use them. You can set up something called pressure sensitivity, which basically means you can see how my brushes go from thin to thick. If I squeeze really hard, they're thick. If I go faintly, they're like that. So you can go from one to the other. Uh, it means doing lines is really smooth. Um, but just feel free to sketch. If you're seeing what I'm doing with the drawing tablet, I'm finding it hard doing it with a mouse. Sketch out your idea on paper, take a picture of your sketchbook, um, email it to yourself or something, drag it into your Photoshop, then start working over the top. I'll explain, I'll make that all clear. But first things first, we're just gonna be doing some idea generation. So let's say, 
Your brand name is... I'm trying to think of a cool letter. Something that would be quite difficult to do because I can obviously prove that I can do simple ones. So let's go for... I'm going through every single letter in my head right now. Let's go for an S. I might struggle with this. That's going to be very hard actually. You know why? Because PewDiePie's logo is obviously a big object with something right in the middle. But an S is like... Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Is it just me or an S is ridiculously hard to... um? draw as well. 3DS's. I always mess them up. That's not too bad to be honest. It's not too bad. It's got a bit of character as well. Um, now let's think. I reckon to do this we don't want something that's trying to be too much in the middle looking completely normal. What I mean by that is I would say let's avoid having some kind of graphic going like this because it's just gonna look really messy. Instead we should pick one part of the letter and just go bold with it. So maybe like in this area here or up here. Um, now we have to think. So let's say your name is Slug. You're called Slug Gaming. If someone out there is called Slug Gaming, feel free to use this. If there's no one out there called Slug Gaming, feel free to call yourself Slug Gaming, then use this. Up to you. You have to pay me though. Just send me like five quid or something. That's calm. I'm joking. You don't have to do that. Um, Right, so what do slugs look like? Let's have like, let's have it popping out. Let's do something different and unique. Let's take this here. This is just me going crazy, by the way. You might be thinking, how is this a tutorial? Um, I believe it is because it's me showing how I come up with ideas. And then I'm going to be doing all this live. So you're going to see me turning this into a finished logo. So, all right, so there we have our slug. I'm going to make the slug a little bit bigger. If you have it too small and you're like not very confident with it, that's going to show, it's always going to show that you just kind of shoved it in the bottom versus trying to really make it like part of the logo, if that makes sense. I'm trying to figure out where it's going to be the coolest place for the slug to be coming out from. I reckon probably where it is. Oh, that actually has just come together really nicely. You see how the eyes are like where the circles of the S is? If that makes sense. Uh, I might try, and, might try and do that. So like that. Right. Hear me out here, guys. See if this, see if this is going to work. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. All these other graphic designers, everything's pre-planned. When I make a video, I jump into Photoshop and we just get creative together. You know, it's the best way of doing it. It means you get raw graphics. It's like a rapper when they go into a studio and freestyle versus going in with loads of notes. When you freestyle, you find like a whole different rhythm, like you find different energy. I'm getting really into this. Right, let's carry on. I'm going to dim this layer now by clicking the opacity and just pulling it down. So remember, if you're struggling with any of this, you don't have a drawing tablet, maybe you're not very good with your drawing tablet, feel free to just literally sketch stuff out on paper until you have an idea um, and then follow on with the next stage. So let's go around this dude's eyeballs like this. How's your lives going anyway? Comment down below. Having a good day? Having a bad day? What's up? Let me know. I'll cheer you guys up. If you're having a bad day, tell me that and I'll cheer you up. If you're having a good day, don't waste my time. I'm joking. Let's spread positive energy though. There's a lot of um, negative energy going around in this world. We need, um, we need more positivity, you know? I think I might do something cool with his eyes, like have a little light bubble like that. That's cute. I reckon we should go for a sad slug. Happy slugs are overrated. Just after talking about positive energy and stuff. Right, so this is effectively our design. Very, very strange. Uh, I feel sorry for Slug Gaming if you actually make this your logo. <laughs> um, anyway, let's move on. It's all about um, experiment -ing. So I'm going to grab PewDiePie's logo. I'm going to use it as a reference. Kacha, 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 and schlunk. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to be stealing the colours. So how you do this is when you're selecting the brush, if you hold Alt, 
then this little color picker will come up and you can just click, grab the color. Uh, now we're gonna begin, we're gonna be doing the S. So I'm gonna hide the layer underneath and I'm gonna lower the opacity of this one. And then I'm gonna start drawing the S. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm not gonna worry about where the slug is, I'm gonna go underneath his eyes and then we're just gonna draw him over the top. Kablam. Also guys, let me know what your favorite logo is because I'm running out of ideas, you know? PewDiePie making this video was a bit of a reach for me because the logo is so simple and kind of in a sense you could say only applicable to him like you could pull off a cool logo in his style but mostly his logo is so unique I didn't really want to touch it um, but I did so if you guys have any logos out there that are really cool I just haven't been finding them recently you know I'm always looking out for cool logos but the logo game's lacking for sure for sure so I've just realized what we should probably do is the S should be this color. It should be that color and then the slug should be the light blue. So I'm, I'm going to go a step back on myself here. I'm going to lower the opacity of that just so I can see where I'm drawing the slug and I'm going to begin to draw the slug. So first thing I'll do the slug's body. Now a little trick for designers instead of going to say here and then doing the eye and then coming back down. If you do that, then you make sure that you're definitely getting a perfect circle. Whereas if you um, keep cutting it up, then you're gonna be interfering with that. And then just do the eyeballs afterwards on top like that. I don't know why I'm voice cracking all the time. Every time I go to record, record I voice crack. And you guys always comment like, seven minutes, 46 seconds, ha ha ha. And then I click it like, oh, what's he talking about? And I just hear, <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on guys. Bang, 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 bang. Now I'm gonna go for like some slightly yellowy eyes. Something like that. Let's go perfect circles. It's gonna help him look proper cute. I'm now gonna draw the guy's pupil. Kachow. Now we're going to do that little um, bit of reflection around his eye. So I'm using the circle tool. I'm holding shift and alt to drag it out. That just means that it doesn't um, go random shapes. It stays as a perfect circle as you drag it up. I see a lot of people making that mistake. So definitely do that. Uh, and I'm just going to add a little stroke around the outside of the circle. It's voice crack number two already. See how many we can get. Bling blau. Bling blau. Bling blau. Right. Let's turn that up. Bang. Let's make his little sad face. I'll do that by just drawing it. And I reckon we'll go the same colour as the background. Yeah, that's cool. Little sad slugger. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do this background that's just this, um, it's like a gray, slightly silver. Remember, just click Alt, hold Alt, and then click on PewDiePie's logo, and you can just steal his color. Now that looks like a perfectly fixed width around the outside, so instead of just guessing and trying to get it right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be selecting this layer. In fact, what I'm gonna do, instead of doing that, I'm gonna merge all my layers together so far but I'm gonna duplicate them then merge so I've still got them all individually in case I need that later. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna add a stroke. I'm gonna make the stroke the size that we want. I'd say about that big. And I'm gonna select that gray color. Looks like that, looks pretty cool, pretty neat. Something that I wanna do is I wanna add a stroke around these yellow eyeballs, so to do that, I'm just making a new layer over the top. I'm filling it in with my brush. And then I'm gonna go blending options and I'm gonna add the stroke. I'm gonna make the stroke the color of the background because black is just gonna, it's gonna clash. Um, that's something else that I see a lot of uh, new designers doing. They have a colour theme and then they do something like throw a white stroke on it or a black stroke. Always stick to your colour theme. 
It just holds the piece together. If you get rid of that, then that's a big compromise type thing. So I'm going to rasterize that, and I'm now going to rub out the middle just so that we get the, um, the, the guy's eyeballs back. The pupils, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, it's a hella strange logo. However, it teaches you how to make the logo. Um, you can implement this in any way. So I did the, the G, obviously, with the little devil thing. That just shows that you can get creative. Um, the phase logo, obviously. The phase logo is looking a little bit strange because it's hand-drawn. I just did this on pencil. Um, see if I still have the sketch. Yeah, there you go. I just did it on pencil. It looked like that. Um... I think I actually drew the phase as well just from my memory so it probably doesn't add up at all how it's supposed to but you get the idea you can really do anything with these logos um, and once you've got your concept what you can do is you can change the color of it uh, I always recommend if you're doing one of these tutorials don't just do it exactly how it's how the YouTube has done it um, always customize it a bit so you can click on hue and saturation and then you can go for something crazy uh, the red looks quite cool. You can lift the saturation up as well. That looks quite funky. But yeah, you get the idea. It's actually quite simple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach you guys how to do the PewDiePie background effect. Then I'm going to leave you with the speed art of the logos that I've made before, just in case that's of interest. Anyway, let's get straight into the um, the wallpapery effect. Oh my God. You hate me because I don't let you play no more